This video is going to look at how to graph logarithmic functions um, and their translations. So we're going to look at the parent function um, just with a base of b. There's an example here with a base of 2. Um, and one thing to notice is the inverse relationship here. So if I have 2 to that power, so 2 to the negative 3, I get 1 eighth to the negative two, I get one fourth. And then if I undo that, I just get back to the x value. Well, that's because logs and exponentials of the same base are inverses of each other. Here is another way to look at it that you can literally see the x, y of our exponential function switches places and becomes the y, x of our logarithmic function. That's because our graph of an exponential function is a complete reflection over the line y equals x to create its inverse function of log of that same base. Just like exponential functions grow faster as your base increases, what that means is as your base increases, your logs actually grow slower um, because of that inverse operational piece. Just like all of our other functions, we do have that same output or same translation formula, I guess I should say, um, in order for us to graph these logarithmic functions. Um, one thing that is always true about logs, just as a parent function, is they go through the point one zero. They have a vertical asymptote on um, zero going to the right side and their domain always goes from zero to infinity without including zero. You're going to use that and what we've done with translations in the past to graph these log functions. So this says take the log function of base two, I'm not really gonna worry about that so much, but move it to the left two and move it down one. So there's a really only two points of interest that we know on our parent function. So I need to move this vertical asymptote to the left two. And then instead of having my point here, I'm going to move that point down one and draw my graph. All right, let's look at natural log. Here it has x minus one on the inside. So move that natural log graph to the right one. That changes my vertical asymptote. No moving up and down, so my point's going to just move over to two, zero. And then I have a stretch of two, so maybe I just show that it grows a little bit faster than a normal natural log graph. All right, here is our last one. We have all sorts of things going on here. I have a negative two, so I have a stretch. I also have a flip on the outside, so I'm going to switch over the x-axis. Positive y's become negative, negative y's become positive. I'm going to move to the left four and up five. So lots of things going on here. Let's move to the left four first. So that moves my horizontal asymptote. Um, normally I would go through this way, but that point needs to move up. One, two, three, four, five. And then I also have a flip and a stretch. So that log graph is actually going to look like so.